life and I don't know what in the hell is going on, but you're starting to level back out. He said, so if you want to go home, you can go home. I didn't think I was leaving that hospital, at least not normally. And um, I never asked this woman her name. I didn't have the need to feel like I needed to know her name. She told me when she walked in the room, all she seen was gold, a gold sheet over my head. And she said, that woman cannot hurt you. You need to get all of your abilities back up and running because you're going to need them. She said, you have the backbone of the gods and she cannot destroy you. You just have to get your abilities back up. So with right. that, I came home. She told me she was from New Orleans. That was the only thing I wanted to ask her is where she was from. Right. Was New Orleans. And I was like, okay. And I ended up finding out what her name was because two days after I got home, I went to sleep and see, I move around when I'm asleep. I don't know how to remote view when I'm awake, but when I'm asleep, I go places. Right. And right. Um, you want to know how serious like those people, some of those, that people, those people are. They're a bunch of assholes. No, 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 no. What I mean in, in a, in a way of, like you can go on the internet and hit Creek Squad, okay? I started following a country rapper, punk fucking Ryan fucking Edward motherfucking drug addict up church fucking Adderall snipping Tennessee boy. All right? That was Piece a mouthful. Dirt bag. <laughs> He's a motherfucking dirt bag who got a cult going around. And anybody who doesn't agree with Ryan, they'll go right after him. And I have Just Gay going after me. Just Gay made a video about me. I call him Just Gay. I don't call him Just Trey. And he can't sing country. And he's trying to be Ryan up church. And it's so fucking sad. It really is. Like, do you realize one of these people go after Adam Calhoun? Like, the beef that was going on with Adam Calhoun and all them on the web. Yeah, these are the people that I used to have, I had serious problems with. It's just because of all the positivity today that had to happen. But you know what? I broke through it. I'm here. It's 2024 and I am chilling. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I said I flipped it all. I, re I don't really remember any of it. I'm just explaining who they are. I remember it and wish I had a bottle of freaking Jack Daniels. Jackie D. Oh, God. I was like, I was like, like I said, that has never, ever happened in our chat before where they've come in and act like that ever i was well, like I'm even sad. norma norma so, was sending me yeah, on my phone going, what the hell they're pretty famous okay some of those people like well, look, they, they want to come in the chat susie and i know how to ignore them but they better hit subscribe because you know they might as well make they made my algorithms go up dumbasses i mean for real stupid shits you, do they know that when they get on a show and they come on in the chat, whether they touch anything or not, or they subscribe or whatever they do, they're raising algorithms, which has actually them being on the chat has stuck my algorithms through the ceiling. And I mean, <laughs> through the ceiling. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Let me tell you something. I wish I could figure out how to take parts of the shows and put them on YouTube's, make YouTube's out of them. Tommy's supposed to be teaching me how to do that. Oh, Tommy says, what? <laughs> All right. I. Yeah, I I mean I connect 
It was weird. Yeah. Yep. Poor Tommy. <laughs> Tommy just messaged me and said, wait, what? <laughs> oh, he friended me. I explained it to him and he's the like, day Jesus. he friended me. <laughs> Who? Tommy. Tommy yeah, I mean, Tommy, uh, Tommy, uh, Edwards. Edwards, yes. So I don't yeah. know what I, I am. Yeah. So I, I don't know. There's this other older guy that's recalling me and then I got this other person recalling me, and well, he was he oh, was in my talk at a different I, I, time. I just don't like my it. Age. Sometimes it's like, you know, uh, one of them likes to joke a lot and make jokes and, uh, and um, come at a person Rocco, who heard a per. You know, Rocco. Just so that you know, um, my one thing that does trigger me is. That Bush fella. Oh, no, don't. I, I, I don't know what you're was, talking about. When I was five. What are you talking uh, about? I was sexually molested by him. Oh, wow. In the tunnels of the White House. Mm. And my twin sister was left there, and I never seen her again. So he is definitely. I, I was told. I was, just I was like, told that my sister died from meningitis while I was in the hospital. Well, he's yeah. a horrible man. Oh, that's all there is he's to a very yeah. horrible man. Uh, right. He, uh, he he almost, would, they almost he killed would, me, I, but I, I ran probably, away. He would come into Project Ibis. And, you know, uh, yeah. He's so. a very, oh. very horrible man. I, he, I heard he was in, he was pretty involved in a lot of that stuff because I oh, even James Casbolt oh, talked oh, a lot about that. Yeah, well, I worked. Well, Hi, I, Andy. I, hey. we picked up on a memory. Hi, about, Andy. Hey. We we picked up. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you gotta, you gotta love when you know <laughs> the energy is so intense that it just blows the freaking live away. Like, go oh, away, you guys. You know, <laughs> you're not even collective. You're not even. Andy, in collective. Did you see any of our chat, Andy? No, I didn't. Oh my God. I was too busy laughing at bobbydizzle.com. Well, bobbydizzle.com would have just loved this show. He'd have been like, uh, oh, that's what I forgot to tell them. All complaints go to bobbydizzle.com. He likes the complaints from Glenn's well, show Wendell, to my show. Wendell was show. talking on the chat on our show, and it turned that into Bobby singing Jesus Loves Me to Wendell. Oh, my God. As a lullaby. Jesus. <laughs> Bobby Dizzle saying Jesus loves me as a lullaby. <laughs> to Wendell. Oh then he God. tried to get all he tried to get the rest well, of They didn't they didn't go live tonight. The misfits didn't go live tonight. I asked Glenn why. He said it's complicated. I'm like, what? Because he had asked me, Do you want to get on the misfits tonight for the first hour before your mm -hmm. show starts? And I was like, I can, but then I fell asleep and I slept till eight o'clock. <laughs> Like, oops. <laughs> yeah. We were having our recall when you first woke up. Do you remember up. your break tonight? Yeah, we did take a break tonight. We had to. 
we had. Oh, we took a break, all right. Here. They 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 broke us out and cut us off thirty minutes early. And yeah, my show got cut thirty minutes early. The whole damn thing just kind of recycled. I don't, and I'm just sitting over here with my hands, so I didn't touch a button. You know, I know, I know when Bern touches buttons, oh, we had things happen, but I didn't touch a had, button. I was like, the fuck. <laughs> yeah, because well, uh, everybody was gang stalking. You yeah. know, everybody yeah. started gang stalking and attacking Rocco, yep. and thing just everything just went to shit. But we had a hundred and eight people on there at one time sitting there. <laughs> 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 and we went from a hundred and eighty-five subscribers to one hundred ninety-two. <laughs> I, 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 I runs up to three hundred and thirty-two. Yeah, well, that's I, because those people got on there for him. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think what happened is, is so many people got on there tonight, it blew up the show. I know, right? <laughs> it was like, holy shit. We're well, you know, did it. I kept letting them go, and then they're talking shit about me and Susie. I'm like, you don't even know us. Get the and shit like that falls out of your mouth. And she's like, well, was, if you're involved with them, you're involved with pedophiles. No, bitch, I live in Texas. I'll shoot them. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. They have made allegations about oh, me. Yeah. I don't think you understand. Like, well, they're making, they were making them about me. I will them. be touching. I will be. There will. My mom told. My mom told little me on a live on my channel. I had to delete the video. My mom really like was like one night just really angry, and she yeah. let them have it on my channel, and said, "I will be sitting in the front row the night your my son boxes you because they say there's a twenty five thousand uh, dollar for me to box." I said, "I want to see the money first, but I can tell you this right now: it's not gonna. It's gonna be a fireworks show." It's going to be a fireworks show. Oh, um, Susie, uh, yeah. go, ahead, go ahead and get a hold of, uh, wait a minute, let me grab my book so I can make sure I'm talking about the right date. So I'm not going to get out of my ass. Um, get a hold of Doug. And I talked to Doug today. Okay, well, we'll right. put Doug in on the 16th, and if anything happens okay, uh, tomorrow he, he called me. Now listen, He's going to have Mark come on with him, too, on the 16th. I already told him be, that we'll probably have him on the 16th. Awesome. Okay, okay, so we'll have him on the 16th. And if anything happens tomorrow at that baptism, we will um, pull Will in, and we'll do a special show like on Monday night or Tuesday night about about that. Okay. Uh, we, we can do that. I can schedule a show before the weekend. Because we have okay. a week, so if anything happens tomorrow, we'll do this. <laughs> okay. Putin, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh, you trying to get your pig ear? Here, mama, get it for you. There we go. There we go, buddy. You better now? Damn little stubborn Russian little bastard. I mean, they call me deadbeat dad. They call me everything under the sun. They got my dead dad. I mean, they, they really crossed the line. Oh yeah, and I mean, people are gonna. Yeah, hate. I can see that. that. I'm gonna tell you right now that little me, I cannot wait to get my hands on. Like I cannot wait to get. I, I told them, I said, I'm gonna give you to like the fifth round. What? Because I know you're one of those little guys that really just want to wrestle type fight. Uh, how did they know? How did they know to come into our show? That's what I want to know. Because. Let me tell you something. Colts, they are sick. A lot of them are inbreded. No disrespect. I don't like hillbillies. I'm sorry to say it. Um, and I'm talking about dirty fucking jeans wearing fucking three days a week, never changing jeans, you know. Dirty motherfuckers, all right? Fucking Why don't you say something about pants? And I, I shut that down because I said, well, I'm not wearing any pants. I only have one leg. If I get up and go to the tell you what, I'm they are myself. sick <laughs> fucking people. They are sick people. They are sick. I mean, they well, used to talk about like one guy would call me and start showing me pictures of my fiance. Uh, my, at the time, I was trying to get back together with my kid's mom. And 
they were trying to like haunt me with like i mean a 14 year old kid threatened me with a gun okay and he was coming to kansas city wow so i said all right your mama lets you on facebook blah 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 you know i threatened him whatever but i never said anything about going to his house but now the mother is getting rich off the son he's a you know independent rapper so he's working with all these independent labels and she's making all that money mm -mm. she's a sick person i mean she used to take stuff like mine and actually literally post a cash app to my videos yeah yeah well uh, that's that's how that's how they 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 roll with me but um i mean the live this morning i did it wasn't too bad i i think i had maybe a couple of them come in but block block you know what i mean got rid of them because i was on like regular youtube so it was simple I could just block them. Yeah, I see a lot of Christie shows. Uh, they show up on my Facebook because I think I, I followed them. And um, so now. Yeah, but all of that stuff that they were saying, child abuser, all that stuff, all a lie. And, and they're seriously lying about some serious stuff where they can get in a lot of trouble. And I'm quite frankly, I'm getting tired of YouTube because I've reported videos of sexual stuff where they said that I was touching my kids. Like, I mean, they are horrible people. They are horrible, horrible, horrible people. There are people literally that are threatening. One guy threatened on a video. I was watching it the other day just to watch, right? On another account, an alt account. And um, I, uh, I, I was just listening and oh my God. One of them wants to go kill that dude. <laughs> So they can, they know, how would they know where to locate me? What was I telling you today about Jesse Bolt? Don't have him on your show, by the way. I don't even know who he is, so. Well, if he ever contacted you or Jesse so. who? Bolt. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I don't the know, man. That was yeah, the you need to make us a list of who to then. not talk to. <laughs> uh, I, 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 gosh, I, as soon as I saw that, everyone. Poor Steve. Steve's trying to keep up and defend you, and then they're talking shit about him, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I messaged Andy and said, get in my chat and go cuss those people out. <laughs> yes, she did. Once we had where Rocco couldn't see the chat, he did a lot better. It was easier for him to focus. Yeah. I was watching the chat and I'm like, these fucking people. Wow. I was yeah. blocking, 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 blocking. <laughs> and I was reporting and deleting and it just, I couldn't keep up. That's why I asked right. Norma to jump in there and help and she would jump in there and started blocking but they kept coming back i was like what the fuck youtube yeah you, you no just problem. blocked their Didn't comment lie, but you couldn't block them completely ridiculous it was so bad i guess i need to have because i have a sneaky suspicion some of them went ahead and subscribed so everybody i have on the show I have a sneaky suspicion that a few of them are going to jump in. Not as many that did tonight, but a few right. of them are going to jump in and talk shit. So 
I'm going to have to let Norma and Denise know that I need them to be monitors for the chat. And the minute yeah. somebody jumps in there and says something bad, get rid of them right away. Well, and you need to find out how you can block these people permanently, you know. In the well, if, if they have more than one account, like Rocco says, they could have 50 accounts. No, I don't think you understand. Over. That's what I'm trying to say is like yeah. they find me all the time. And it's like, I haven't been on my YouTube, literally, I have not been on my own YouTube in a few months. And I went on YouTube this morning and it was, it was to talk to another, you know, uh, Montauk boy that remembered me. At 5.30 in the morning, I, you know, telling me he remembers me being very abusive too. So like I, I don't know I just can't you know it's it's hard well you know I am uh, uploading Thanks. it to rumble now <coughs> <coughs> and I'm gonna list it when I put on your, your name and stuff, and then I'm going to put, and if you want to see what gang stalking's about, read the chat. <laughs> gang stalking at its best, right? Yeah, no shit. That's what Tommy would have been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't think he would have been able to handle it. Well, Obviously, y'all did a good job because, you know, shit. Well, Rocco, you're popular. Okay. <laughs> popular. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm not Penny. I'm not Penny Shepherd, where I make shit up. Okay. Yeah, that, that bitch I'm right there. Yes, real. right. I'm real. Yeah, you know, she I know, tries to. I've, I've sent you the messages I get. Some of those messages, I'm coming for you, boy. Like I have messages, I have screenshotted messages of threats, of of all kinds of stuff. I man, I'll Christy's tell you. Like, Christy said, "Boy, it looks like we got some trolls in here." I'm like, "Yeah, Christy." I said, "I'm trying to get rid of them, but they keep coming back." <laughs> no, 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 no. But Christy don't understand. Steve, you'll have had to explain to Christy about the uh, that they are not oh, just getting her too. They were getting her too. When they turned around and she had said something about hearing your voice when you were on Rob's show, that it clicked something. They're like, oh yeah, you were have been a super soldier too. So I guess they were just talking lots of shit to her. And I was like, oh my God, these guys are fucking. Norma's like, I'm not saying that to him because I'm going to go off. <laughs> Next year, he ain't going to be able to talk. I'm going to make sure that you know, I'm going to let him run himself in the ring. I'm going to let him run him. I want to catch him on the ropes. It's where I want to catch him. Because he's shorter than me, by the way. And I'm short, so. But I'm going in at an even 160. And, Jack Tucker uh, wants to go out. You know, I, I'll even take him 160 at 200 and probably crack his face because the energy comes from within. The energy comes from within. And if you're cut the fuck up, eh, I, I don't care. You can knock a 200-pound dude the fuck out. Trust me. It's all about how you connect. You know what I mean? A lot of people think about, you know, yeah, power is good. But sometimes it's where do you land it is another, you know, to me, it's like another thing. Like you can land a hit right, right in the side of the head where it can make the person really messed up the rest of the life. Throws out the whole equilibrium and uh, it messes you up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, son. What do you want? Oh yeah. What is it? You want a treat? Pretty messed up. We'll get one when your brother comes back in. I want to do him dirty, so I want to try to get him to a weight. But see, the problem is he won't drop weight. 
He said, I want to fight you at 200. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to He's shoot. short. He doesn't need to be 200. No, 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 that's what I said to him. I said, look, I'm willing to go up 160. But that's going to be a climb, right? By 2025. You know, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm going to go in there fresh, ready. And I'm going to be wearing a hoodie and it's going to say RIP on the back. Little me <laughs> data. And I'm telling you right now, I'm because like, there's a guy that does shoes TV and stuff. He wants to promote it. Like who knows these guys because he wants to see me literally knock little me out. He could have been in there because there was one guy that was saying, yeah, a cult for sure. He could have been in there, Durkey. Um, I don't know, but there was one person I saw saying that, yeah, they are a cult. Whenever I called them cult. The guy would say, absolutely. Yeah, they're a cult. So, you know, apparently that this, okay, so this has been going on for me for like, like I said, they ruined my marriage that was supposed to happen. They told my uh, child's mom that I wasn't taking care of my kids. Hey, I just got a text from uh, Penny, um, not, not, uh, Bradley, Penny Bradley, not Penny Shepard. Uh, okay. She said, I remember being at Montauk in 1962 when I was six. I don't remember being there for the Phoenix Project. The other people remember me there for it. I would think that they were nuts, except that I could pick them out of a lineup, and how could I do that if I was not there? So, right. I guess she was watching the show tonight because she just texted me. Oh, oh, God, did she see the chat? Yeah. Well, I'm did sure you she see? Did. Well, let me tell you what I had to earn Penny Bradley's respect. Back. She's gonna be on our show on the twenty third. But you realize that was her basically saying she knows. She had yeah. me on her show one time, so that's just more confirmation. And well, she was there in nineteen sixty two. I know. I I'm aware. Penny, I'm aware. Penny, um, let's see. Tommy was there. Well, shit. When he was young. Okay, here's here's what she just texted me. Okay, she said, I interviewed him, talking about you, Rocco, and he attacked me when I had spinal fusion surgery. Two years, spent two years threatening me. He has apologized, and I'm giving him a chance. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So. I, 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 I knew this, though. You understand? And you know, people like, can today, yeah, yeah, it, it, right, right, right. I'll admit, yeah, I said horrible things to my kid's mom. But for you to take it out and put it on the internet because you're manipulating her mind while we're going through, you know, a real serious time and, uh, you know, it, it was bad. It was bad. How'd they, how'd they get that stuff, Rocco? Uh, what had happened was I was on a Facebook Live with, uh, uh, unfortunately, a, a medium that I would never recommend to anybody. Um, she ended up pissing me off, triggering me really bad. And I think my kid's mom asked me to do something. And I thought that some, it sounded like I was being told. It was like. I was still dealing with the programming, right? I was still dealing with what the flashes and like not understanding where to put it. You know, why am I getting a flash of a being strapped in a chair or, you know, and the weird part is the ironic part is it's, it's like the teen slash teacher, they don't mind you remembering so much. But the kid, kid stuff is very hard to remember. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? So, like, yep. for me, it's weird enough. It's like, you know, and I, I mean, some of them are adults. I got a 50, 
one of them's 51 years old and he's telling me how he remembers me. Like, okay, how do you remember me? And I'm 37 and you're 51 years old. So there obviously had to be like some kind of 20 and 20 back. Yeah. Is what I'm going <clears> to. <throat> like Tony Rodriguez was 20. And well, back. I mean, yeah, but yeah, it's just, I think the whole. Okay, here's what, here's what she says now. He's in one of my public groups. I left his post and I have not talked with him. I'm protecting my sanity. I hope you understand that. I said, and then I said that you had a char horrible childhood. She said, all of us have. I said, he's healing and Brian has been sending him people to work with him. And then she said, I was taken out of my bed by American soldiers when I was four and driven to Langley where I was raped every day for five years. That's what that is, that is true. Yeah. That's one. Tr yeah. I think, I think Joseph Powell told me that. Well, no, it wasn't Joseph. She told me that. It wasn't Joseph. Mm -mm -mm. It was, uh, yeah, it was her. She told me. What? Don't start your room. I'll send you back in the room with your dad and you can go back to bed. Huh. Look, look, don't, don't. Do hey, it. you know what? Time heals. Even though I don't like using the word, but well, it's not—it's not, it's not it, that time heals. It's—it's it's that that with the right help, with the right help from God, you know, we can find that healing. You know. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it was like. I don't know. It was an explosive show. I like the way it ended, though, with Stephen pounding the shit out of somebody. <laughs> uh, that, was, uh, that was me, basically. That was me. Um, and I was I was getting uh, memories of being blasted by you right before I went in and got you know. <laughs> We went with uh, Ray Lynn. Um, <laughs> what? I did. I was, yo, you got me good that day, bro. You got me good. I know. I know you, look, man, you were going to, yeah, you are going to kill me. I knew if I didn't, if I didn't get in that cell. And the only reason I knew that is because I already gave her the codes. So that way she could, you know what I'm saying? If I had to be activated. Or, you know, regions, you know, like, whatever. Like, there was different ways. It was weird. It was a weird experience. It blew me away. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. It's when you start activating certain energies and, and, and you start connecting with certain people, you know, uh, I, I've come to the realization that if one person doesn't like one person, oh, well, you know what I mean? I'm not going to not like that person just because that person doesn't like that person. I, I can't do that. You know what I mean? So I stay neutral on that end. Except for certain people like James, I I just don't talk to because he's part of the reason that some of the issues that I do because he kept pitching the same story for long enough, and eventually people got tired of hearing it. When Brian stepped in, and James showed his true colors and tried to screw Brian over. So that's why, yeah, I understand what, whatever.
He's on Mars, in the side of Mars, in a cage. Can somebody make the universe make me some good mangoes? Uh, <laughs> I'm tired. Oh yeah, we we're we're gonna be working on doing a presentation together uh, at uh, next year, twenty twenty five. I'm tired of screwed up fruit. All of us do. Me, you. Uh, that ain't gonna happen with Brian. Brian is done with James. Yeah, he is uh, with James. Okay. Wait. What about what about Brian? He's kind of like basically through with James. James has been doing some real foul shit to people. I know he was doing some bad shit to Brian before. But he was warned about Brian. I mean, Brian was warned about James. <laughs> yeah, well, we know. Just like I warned him about a couple of other people. And, you know, yeah. I was wondering from the beginning what Brian was doing with everybody. I wasn't sure if he had anything to do with the program or not. But yet, he was gathering all these people together like you guys. I'm still really confused with Brian. Kind of, you know? Like, I asked him if he wanted to come on tonight because Rocco was on and because he came on last time Rocco was on and he said that him and his wife were going to go out to dinner and then probably go see a movie and I said oh okay well, see, he's been in and out a lot to see, even when he got back from comp I think that conference set off a slew of other promotional events where you understand what I'm saying? That? Where, you know, Brian's good, where he'll go to a conference, where, and next thing you know, he's starting a conference with some, you know what I mean? Like, he knows how to manage like that. Right. Well, he's got companies that he does that with, so I guess that's just in his blood. Yeah. Right, who has, give me that thing. Give me that off the floor before you dogs start fighting over it and that guy beat you. So ass. what so what is Penny doing now that she hasn't been? Who? Penny Bradley? Yeah, uh no, uh um Penny Shepherd. Oh. Uh well I think she moved to Atlanta, Georgia with her ex drummer Billy. Guy yeah. named Billy. <laughs> oh and, no! Uh, <laughs> so, because just he still works name. for that John guy, huh? Just the name Billy. 
Billy. The name Billy makes me laugh because, like, what the fuck? Penny Billy. Well, she's out whoring around herself, I guess. Because now oh, she doesn't have Susie's dog. Oh, I know it. It's getting, I know it. I knew it. Yep. She's got a bad sex kitten altar. Bad. <laughs> bad. And she goes for young men, too. Hey, watch that. I like younger. I always have. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just, I'm just saying, one time we were on I the phone. I dated one person in my life. One time we were on the phone. And, and he allowed me to have a boyfriend because he couldn't keep up with me. He was like, Jesus Christ, woman, you're going to kill me. I'm like, well, what a way to die. <laughs> but yeah. Susie. So it was always younger. Uh, one time, so one time, I uh, remember Penny was acting really weird, like, I don't know. We got like this sense of like weird energy from her like yeah she definitely does that you know sex getting shit like <laughs> i'm not kidding i'm not like i think she was gonna attempt it on me one time like oh i could put you under or something that i i, I think i was about to allow it at the time Well, she got really pissed off when she tried to put me and Tommy against each other. And I guess she didn't realize how good of friends we actually really were. And it didn't work. This is crazy, man. This whole night. Ah, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? My show has never, never. <laughs> Doesn't like this ever. And then we're like trying to calm Rocco down. I'm like, Steve, Steve, call Rocco. <laughs> Reel him back in, man. Throw him a rope. <laughs> Thank you for being in the chat. I felt it in my chest. <clears throat> I will, all I got was ringing in my ears and a really big headache. <laughs> ringing oh, ears. Know. Yeah, I had ringing ears. Yep. I don't know what Susie was doing. Susie was looking at the chat going, what the hell? <laughs> That's our favorite saying, isn't it, Susie? I hope your chat doesn't say, wow, I hope you don't have that guy on again. <laughs> no, because you, the normal people that watch our chat, they know who you are. They've seen you on other shows. They know exactly who you are. They've seen you on our show before. They don't have a problem. And usually, they know that I maintain the chat. And usually if somebody says something smart ass, I jump in there and I say, hey, we keep it peaceful in this chat. Then I get a message from uh, that idiot ass. Uh, little me says, well, ma'am, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Bullshit. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Yeah. I call it bullshit. Ooh, that's a sour one. Ooh. Ooh, don't eat that piece. So, yeah. You eat that mango puppy? What the hell's wrong with you? You're not supposed to eat mangoes. Yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I think we're gonna change the whole community in a way. Yeah. 
that we do. Except for Penny, uh, except for Penny uh, Shepherd. Yeah, no, we don't need her. <laughs> we don't need her ass. We don't need her ass. <laughs> She's done. Did you notice That's that we changed brutal. the voice on the video and stuff? Yeah, I did. I noticed <laughs> Steven did that for us, a friend of ours. It was Brian's uh, missing. Yeah, the only one that's on there is, is is Susie and I. And it's because, you know, sometimes Brian comes, um, Brian's only been on once since this fallout with Penny. And that was the night that we had you on there. And he's only been on once, so we had him taken off. You know, we should have had Tommy put back on because he comes on more shit. Last night, Tommy was working and he was all sweaty and he had to take his shirt off because it was disgustingly dirty because he was at work. And he comes on with no shirt on, <laughs> which Penny would have had a fit. We thought it was funny. And he has his guitar with him. I'm like, dude, you take your guitar to work. He goes, well, it was in the van. I'm like, okay. <laughs> And he came on, he made us laugh a little bit. We talked about some stuff and he played a song for us before he left. Then he forgot the words, so he played another one. <laughs> but, you know, Penny had a fit had Tommy come on like that. She'd have been like, oh, no, he doesn't have a shirt on. Me, I was like, Tommy, your boobs are almost as big as mine. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know. no. But now people know. That oh, obviously Lord. I keep speaking because <laughs> I know something. Right. And also, I got hit tonight with a whole bunch of people. It was. On all of us, actually, we were just like, "Fuck, do we do?" <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, thanks for the algorithm hike, guys. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> Bunch of idiots. <laughs> Damn. I don't know, man. I was like, the fuck? And they triggered the hell out of Rocco. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. Oh, whoa, whoa, Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. What? Uh, I'll tell you what. I, I, uh, my, my front sided altar came out. Which is 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 not Danny. It's it's more like soldier. If you look at uh, uh, the Halo um, on the new video live I go on tomorrow on the UK, which they'll have a harder time of finding that channel. And that guy, uh, that guy, uh, that's going to be an interesting show. I'm interested in knowing what he wants to explore. I kind of uh, want to the Ray Lynn thing, but I really, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I don't really, like, I remember parts, but like, I don't remember all of what happened. So what happened? Uh, well, like it was split. You like, uh, figured split. out that there was somebody in the chat and you went the hell off and <laughs> we were trying to calm you down and delete it's the chat not, at the it's same not, time. And it's not funny. To me, it's really, it you was, know, it, it was like traumatizing. Fuck. Um, because like we I were said, trying to get him out of there, but like I had my family so convinced they had my mother on air. They called my mother a pill head. I, I, I just don't. I, I understand. It's it's cult stuff. 
That's what it is. I'm just talking on the after the show. You do it. Oh. I was talking to Joel. He just came in. Get something to eat. Hang on, I'm trying to clock Jack out so he gets paid. Huh? <laughs> I'm trying to clock Jack out so he gets paid. I hate being his boss. This really drives me fucking crazy. Yeah, so welcome, welcome to the cult, you know. <laughs> it proved itself tonight. That could have been the CIA, okay? Some of them, some of them. But yeah, oh, little me is here. I, I have pictures of, of little me and his wife. Huh? I have pictures you, of him. Yes, I did. His wife. Say hi to Brenda. Come here. Come over here. Hi. Come here for a second. Come, come I here. Know. Come here. Here, she's saying hi. Come here. Hold on. Hi, Hi Joe. Are, are you going to help build my ramp? <laughs> uh, uh oh. I have email. That's Rocco's hand. Son of a bitch. Hey, how are you? That's my son, Joel, everybody. That's Andy. And that's Steve. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bye. That's, I, I, hey, that's I, warned, I warned little me a couple months ago. I said, you don't understand. I'm going to come back into my power. And when I come back into my power, I'm going to have soldiers nearby. And I had you, I had Christy, I had other people in here, you know, so it, it, it didn't go over too well for them. They didn't win anybody to talking to them, you know. Now they have in the past. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like this energy thing I'm doing with people, and it's really like, and sometimes, like I notice with psionics, it will it will do more than what you're asking sometimes, and it's like I did this, I did this thing healing on a woman, right, and I told her her heart was gonna feel warm, her whole body got warm. Um, you know, like she said, I'm having flu symptoms. I'm like, oh man, here we go. You know? So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I, I guess, uh, the psionics, uh, scan, right? Decided on you having a full spiritual and physical detox. And uh, she messaged me today and said, "Holy shit! What 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 a wild few days!" I was like, "I told you, it's not just gonna be, you know, one day. You know what I mean? Like it." it and I, and then I told her, I said, "Take another salt bath." I said, "Take a salt bath." And 
and relaxed because um, it, it, it she said it was pretty intense she said at one point she was going to go to the hospital because she thought she was having uh, such a high fever or whatever like no no that was energy moving in your body a lot of heat I'm burning out all the, you know, toxins. Or that's what the scan chose. So that's what my mind chose to do on her. Sometimes I won't be told what I'm going to do. It'll just be a surprise. And sometimes I like that because sometimes when I'm told, it always goes wrong. Just like before I got on this show, I was prepared. For some odd reason, I felt a weird vibe that these people were going to show up. Damn it, Tommy. <laughs> Give me a minute. I think he's trying to get on the show. Uh, fuck. Fuck a doodle. Okay. I just had to say that. Here we go, Tommy. He's trying to get backstage and whatever I gave him earlier, it's not working. So, oh, I told him I need to decompress, man. I need a hug. I need a cuddle, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to jump off here. Fucking um, hair in my mouth. You don't want to wait a minute and see Tommy? I, I, I'm going to jump off here. I need to relax my mind. It's all right, Rocco. I apologize. Oh, it's, no, it's not your fault. We understand. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Thank, you know what? I thank you. You know that it that show seemed weird, but it thanks because you just showed the world how people are seriously gang stalked and targeted. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. Tommy said we need to make rules for people to follow, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open a bad people's jar, and every time they got something bad to say, <laughs> they can fucking throw a dollar in there. We'll be rich by the end of the show. How you guys feel about that? Yeah, make them, <laughs> make, them make them pay, make them pay, make them pay, fuckers. I can't believe that shit. I'm just dumbfounded that. That, well, just that, think about that's, that's what that's what Rocco has to deal with every day, really? Brenda. I mean, it's constant for him. I I was on that other thing with him, and it was like constant. I'm like, good grief. Now I've watched Rocco on Rob's show, and that doesn't happen on Rob's show. And I well, I, I, I can't. I can't have a good block button, thing. okay? I can't figure out how the fuck they found us over here. I mean, well, they probably have a good block button. We, you, you know, we didn't. No. Oh, okay. Eyes. They all watch him. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't have any of those people on my Facebook. So and I posted right now, on my Facebook. Right now, we already got 120 views on it. I mean, I know. Just, That's what boom. I said. They they like, definitely boost like our, our algorithms yeah. and our uh, and our um, subscriptions. Freaking nuts! Yeah, it it was it went nuts, and that's uh, not even one of what it'll show tomorrow. I mean, be Christy, because you know, I told her I've seen her shows. I actually subscribe to her shows, so. um Sometimes I get a chance to watch them. Sometimes I don't. 
but sometimes I get a chance to watch them. And then there's other shows that she'll come on that'll pop up on my Facebook. So somewhere down the line, I'm friends with somebody. <laughs> By tomorrow, there'll be 300 people watching it, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. Poor, poor Rocco exploded. I am so glad, Steve, that you were in the chat where you could contact him because I am here to tell you I have never seen him explode like that. We could not even get him to settle down. We tried to tell him, hang on, hang on, Rocco. We're deleting them. You got to give us a minute because I can't do it from my computer. I have to go in and find the show and get in the chat that way. Oh, wow. Wow. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty intense. What? Right. No, you don't need no more. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what, you know, you get to thinking about all that stuff, and then, you know, you want to push that energy away and, and start creating your own energy, you know? For a minute there, I'm going to tell you the truth. When Rocco got up and lost it, I thought we was on Howard Stern for a whole second. I was like, the <laughs> hell? What, what, what just happened? I just lost control. What, wait. <laughs> well. <coughs> yeah. Right. I, well, I watched the chat and they were attacking you. I was like, the fuck, people? Come on, man. That was like a legion of demons for sure. You, you can't have everything. <laughs> you cannot. Good thing you were, that good thing you were there because that helped. See, our team, right. our team was supposed to be on the show tonight, but he didn't get back to me. He had said, yeah, it was a good night, but he didn't end up getting back to me. So I had Rocco come and fill in for him because our team didn't get back to me. I still got to talk to him and find out if he's all right. Because uh, I do still want him on the show. On, who's on the twenty third. Is that Brian Brian show or something? Well, Christy does one like that too. This is uh, only our. 54th show we started our show in january we only do shows friday and saturday nights so we're not doing
if I have you come on the show, do me a favor. Don't do that because it ends my feed. <laughs> do what? Uh-huh. <laughs> His energy was so high. I said, don't do that because it ends my feed. Who is Michael Bale? Mm-hmm. That's one of the people that that's one of the people that was in the chat, and he is from Missouri. Morocco's not here. I can't ask him. I just got a message. James Fink. James is an asshole. People have been wanting James to see the light for a long time, and he still has not. Wow. And what'd you say about James Casbolt? Okay. Okay. Yeah, James Campbell. James, I, nobody's heard from him, you know. And well, they locked him up in prison and stuff, and you know, that was some crazy stuff. Was it? Wasn't he going to go after James Rink? He had a hit list, you know, and Rink was on it, and Miles was on it, and a bunch of them were on it. Well, Brian has been warned about Miles. Huh? Brian has been warned about Miles. Yeah. Miles Johnson is a... A little bit of a problem. (laughs) I didn't do anything and I'm involved. Oh my God, I'm going to sit here and eat my chili cheese chips and fade away. (laughs) That's what I'm eating. I'm eating, uh, I got these pretzel peanut butter things. They're pretty good. Oh, shit. (laughs) I'm eating chili cheese Fritos. Uh Uh-huh. And the dogs are eating chili cheese Fritos because apparently they think it's funny when their ass blows up. Okay. Oh, 
they did say something about that. I was wondering what the hell that was. <laughs> oh. I just let him go. Nope. I I used to date a guy in high school that was a skinhead. Told him not to do. And you know what? Now he's a long haired, long beard biker skinhead. Okay. <laughs> he hasn't changed. I tell him that all the time when I talk to him. You ain't never going to change, are you? It's a good thing you're married to who you're married to. Because had you had married me, you wouldn't be like this. <laughs> He's like, that's why I didn't marry you. <laughs> I'm like, well, all right then. <laughs> Guess you knew better. Mm -mm -mm. I cannot believe tonight. I am just. And blow. All right. <laughs> but see that's just the thing had Rocco had just sat there and laughed about it and and let it go and let them explain let them explode and do what they're doing but we lost Rocco for a minute yeah he had to go he well I think he was trying to he was trying to chill because when I was on that other show with him he was just going at him like the whole time okay this time at least he was trying to reel himself back in a little bit so, i mean last time we had rocco on the show it was you know, i thought he was doing pretty good tonight it actually. was both people i kept telling him your friends are in here your friends are in here they're supporting you <laughs> So you were in the you were in the program with Rocco there in New York, is that right or what? Oh. How old were you when you were being taken? Wow. 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 Oh, wow. Shit. Wow. Because I you were like being tortured? Is going. that why you forgot? What's the halo stuff? I have. Uh, no. My son does. Oh. See, I heard that a long really? time ago that they used a lot of those games, program kids. Really? Yeah. So how do they do that? And then as old people were over here playing it going, damn it, I'm going to shoot that some bitch. <laughs> now you know, Susie. Now you oh. know what makes your son so viable in a soldier war. Yeah, my son plays those games 24-7. He's pretty good at them. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, we know your know son didn't go anywhere because you kept him on a leash. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's never been out of school. He's home boy still. Like stay with me. Huh? And Tommy. What up? Hi, 
I would. Yeah, my son has been sheltered from the whole damn world, so. Oh, shit, Tommy, where'd you go? He, uh. He he hit the wrong button. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Yeah. No problem. (laughs) Hey, thank you for helping us with Rocco. Yeah, thank you. We really appreciate it. Okay. What's your last name, Steve? What's your last name? Okay. Okay. I don't like those things. They try to steal my dog. I saw a hawk today. All right, Steve, thanks. Okay. Okay, well, you can take it off of Rocco's, too, I think, and then post it. Okay. All right. right. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So what happened?